Hello, this is Emilisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my fall card series for 2020, and this is also a video hop with Team Tiny. So this is a hashtag driven hop, and the hashtag is Team Tiny Thankful Hop. So definitely click on that link for more inspiration, and you will find it in the title and the description box below. So for my card today, I am using the scrapbook.com exclusive cut file home sweet home, and that is the window cut file that you are seeing right there and then I'm also using the lawn fawn leafy tree backdrop to create the scene in the window and just figuring out my layout here and then I also go ahead and use the windowsill cut file from the scrapbook.com exclusive cut file as well and this is the hello bluebird fall friend stamp and I'm just figuring out how it's going to work with my layout. There is the windowsill, figuring it all out. Then I'm going to go ahead and color this in with Spectrum Noir markers and all of the supplies that I'm using will be listed down below in the description box if you are interested. I also do want to mention the exclusive cut file from scrapbook.com is a freebie over on their website and there is 17 different cut files that you can use on your cutting machines, so your electronic cutting machines. And I use my Silhouette Cameo, but you can resize those for any of your project needs. So definitely check it out if you're interested. I will leave the link down below in the description box. So if you have been following me for a while, you know what Team Tiny is all about. It is a group of a Facebook, a group that we have on Facebook for crafting YouTubers to support each other, help each our channels grow, and to encourage each other along the way as we reach for our crafting goals. And we are YouTubers under a thousand subscribers. And once we reach a thousand subscribers, we graduate and there is another group, but we are no longer in Team Tiny because we are getting bigger and we are yeah, so I am reaching that thousand subscriber mark. I am close to 900. So if you are not a subscriber, I would love for you to join me on this crafting journey. And thank you so much to all my subscribers now. Definitely hop along and subscribe if you like what you're seeing along the way. Give us a like, watch our videos. We appreciate it. We hope we can inspire you along the way. So thank you so much for all your support. And what I was doing there was creating my background with some speckled egg distress oxide ink. And then I'm just going to add some water so that the ink reacts to it and create a little bit of a fall background, like the raindrops are falling. And that's going to create my window scene. And then I'm going to be inking up the window here the window frame and just giving it some more dimension having it stand out a little bit more and then i'll go ahead and add that ink to the tree and the hillside as well so that they're just not flat against my project there's a little bit of interest and then i'm going to go ahead and color the windowsill pieces so that they stand out a little bit more as well And then I'm gluing these pieces to the windowsill so they stay in place for the process of this next part. So I filmed this part over a couple days and this is where my brain started to get some crazy ideas and I had fun with this. So I kind of wanted to make this into a shaker card, but I don't love to do shaker cards. I just never figure out how to make them shake really well and they're just not my thing so I used some foam tape and at first I was going to put it down on the card base but I found this bag in that I was going to go ahead and recycle and it's a very thick bag and so I adhered it to one side of the panel and then using some score tape to adhere this and I'm going to go ahead and add some leaf sequins that I picked up at the dollar store. And it doesn't shake around like a shaker card, but it gives you that illusion that there is something going on. 
gives it the 3D effect of the window pane where you are looking out your window and you can see that full effect of the window pane. So once the sequins were in there, I was able to add some more score tape to add the layers to this element and add some more of that thick bag and then get that ready again to pop onto the card base. So a lot of score tape was used, but I definitely wanted to share this process with you so that you knew exactly what I was doing to get all of the different layers in this card. It was quite the process, but I really love how it turned out. Definitely a different look, a little bit of a shaker card, but not, but definitely a fun effect. So just cutting that down with my scissors, the plastic bag. It was like a thick bag. So once that was all done, there will be a one more layer of foam tape to adhere that to the card base here. I forget how many layers of score tape there was, but definitely worth it. I'm just moving some of those leaves around as well. I think there was a little bit of back and forth here too with figuring out where those leaves needed to be so that they weren't in the way or behind the um, behind the hill. I wanted them to be where you could see them and they didn't get lost. And uh, then I'm going to pop this onto the card base and then finish uh, the rest of my scene. So I will be bringing in the windowsill from the scrapbook.com exclusive cup file home sweet home and i'm popping that up on some foam tape to give it a little bit more dimension as well and then i'll be bringing in the deer and i went ahead and cut her legs off as well so that she's kind of like inside the house or looking inside the house from outside however you want to think about it and then I'm going to go ahead and add the sentiment from the Hello Bluebird stamp set and using my stamping positioner to do that. So it says a friendly hello and that is going to finish up the card, a fun almost shaker card for you. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I have a few more fall videos coming your way and my Christmas card series starts soon and definitely click on that hashtag team tiny thankful help for more fall inspiration along the way thank you so much bye for now